Welcome to Oral Communication for ICT Beginners. Effective communication is a vital skill in the ICT industry. Being able to clearly convey complex technical information to a wide range of audiences is essential for success. In this lesson, you will learn the basics of oral communication and how to effectively communicate with your audience. Understanding your audience. The first step in effective communication is understanding your audience. This includes identifying their age, educational level, cultural background, and any other factors that may impact their understanding. By tailoring your language and content to their level of understanding, you can ensure that your message is received and understood. Determining the context. The context in which you deliver your message is also important. Understanding the reason why you are delivering the information and setting in which it will be delivered can help you choose the appropriate tone and level of detail. This will ensure that your message is relevant and engaging for your audience. Choosing appropriate communication methods. There are a variety of communication methods available, including audio and visual aids. Choosing the most effective method for your message can help to ensure that it is received and understood by your audience. Practicing active listening. Active listening is an essential skill for effective communication. It involves demonstrating that you are engaged in the conversation and seeking feedback to ensure that your message has been understood. Context matters. Identifying the reason and setting for your message. What is context? Context refers to the circumstances surrounding your message. This includes things like the reason for the message, the setting in which it will be delivered, and the audience. Identifying the reason for your message. Before you start crafting your message, it's important to understand the purpose behind it. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve with your message? What action do you want the audience to take? Identifying the setting for your message. The setting in which you deliver your message can also affect how you communicate. Consider the physical location, the audience, the time of day, the length of time you have to deliver your message. Adapting your communication style to the context. Once you understand the context of your message, you can adapt your communication style to match. For example, if you're delivering a message to a group of executives, you may need to use more formal language and structure your message in a way that focuses on the bottom line. Key takeaways. Understanding the context of your message is critical to communicating effectively. Identify the reason for your message and the setting in which it will be delivered. Adapting your communication style to the context can help you communicate more effectively to your audience. Choosing effective communication methods. When it comes to communicating with others, it's important to choose the right communication method. Different communication methods have different strengths and weaknesses and some methods are better suited to certain types of messages than others. Types of communication methods. There are two main types of communication methods, verbal and visual. Verbal communication includes phone calls, face-to-face -face meetings, and video conferences. Visual communication methods include charts, graphs, images, and videos. Choosing the right communication method. When choosing a communication method, consider the following. The nature of the message, the audience, the purpose of the message, the urgency of the message. When to use verbal communication. Verbal communication methods are best suited for messages that are complex, require immediate feedback, involve emotions, require personal interaction, involve negotiation. When to use visual communication. Visual communication methods are best suited for messages that are simple, require clarity, involve data, involve comparison, require emphasis. Examples of visual aids. Some examples of visual aids include charts and graphs to represent data, images and videos to illustrate concepts, slideshows and presentations to provide an overview of a topic. Active listening for effective communication. Active listening is a communication technique that involves focusing on the person speaking, understanding their message, 
and providing feedback to ensure that the message is understood correctly. To demonstrate active listening, you should pay attention to the speaker, avoid distractions such as phones and computers, maintain eye contact and open body language, ask questions to clarify the message, paraphrase what the speaker said to ensure understanding. To ensure that your message is understood, you should seek feedback from the listener. This can be done by asking questions such as, does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Can you explain that back to me? Responding appropriately to feedback is just as important as seeking it. If the listener doesn't understand, try rephrasing or providing more information. If they have a question, answer it as clearly and concisely as possible. Benefits of active listening. Active listening can help you to build trust, improve relationships and reduce misunderstandings. It can also help to identify problems and find solutions more quickly. Active listening is a key skill for effective communication. By demonstrating active listening, seeking feedback and responding appropriately, you can ensure that your message is understood and build strong relationships with your audience. This brings us to the end of our lesson.